Ronald Araujo has been one of the best defenders in the world for the last couple of years, and he is one of the reasons why Barcelona won La Liga one year ago. The Uruguayan is still only 24, and he just keeps on getting better every season. What makes him that special, and why is he probably the best defender in the world? Well, that's what we'll discuss in this video, so make sure to stay tuned. What makes Ronald Araujo that good? Well, first of all, there's maybe no one in the world better than him at not getting dribbled past. Because of his strength, pace and fast reaction time, it's very hard to get past Araujo. That is why it's no surprise that in La Liga in the last 3 seasons, he has only been dribbled past 0.1 times per game on average. Which basically means that Araujo only gets dribbled past every 10 games. At most. Players like Mbappe and Vinicius are usually hard to defend because of their pace, but Araujo is pacey enough to keep up with them and use his strength to win back the ball against such players. There might be no other defender in the world who is just as strong and pacey as Ronald Araujo. Araujo's reading of the game is excellent as well. He knows where to position himself in what situation in order to win back the ball. Also, in attacking situations, Araujo's vision comes in handy, as he's the type of defender to divide the play from deep in the fence and to play the long ball to the player who is in acres of space. Most people will consider Andreas Christensen and Kunde to be more comfortable on the ball and rather see Araujo as the defensive monster, but Araujo does have the ability to pick out any player with passes from deep in defense. On average, Araujo has played 3.6 long balls per game in La Liga this season, while that is only 1.9 for Christensen and 2.9 for Kunde. In the air, Ronald Araujo is a huge threat as well. As he's strong and tall, that doesn't come as a surprise. He's the first one that will be looked for during corner kicks, and he has already scored some crucial heading goals. Again, Araujo is Barcelona's best defender when it comes to heading. He's won 2.9 aerials per game in La Liga up till now, whereas that is only 2.8 for Koundé and 1.6 for Christensen. In attack, Ronald Araujo is actually very underrated. There is a reason why he can function well as a right back. Not only is he a defensive wall when he plays there, he can also go forwards, make overlapping runs, put crosses into the box, shoot from distance and make runs in behind the defense. Ronald Araujo is actually an attacking threat, and if you play him as a right back, you're not really playing him out of position. That's what makes Ronald Araujo that good. He literally has no weak points. Back when he first broke through, he would sometimes commit silly errors, like not properly marking his man or making sloppy passes. But over the last years, he's just become more all-around and reliable. And now Barcelona probably have the best defender in the world on their hands. But is Araujo the best defender in the world right now? Well, there is probably no other defender who has the ability to play both at centre-back and at right-back and is the best player in his squad in both positions. If Xavi could choose to play with two Ronald Araujos, one at the right centre back spot and one at right back, then he would probably choose to do so. And this is a team with Jules Koundé, so Araujo really just has a set of qualities that's out of this world. Koundé just isn't defensively as solid and isn't as good at heading and at being a threat in attack. Araujo is probably Barcelona's best defender. And if we're talking about the best defenders in the world, it gets a little difficult. There is a lot of great defenders out there. Eder Militao, William Saliba, Ruben Diaz, Virgil van Dijk, Marquinhos, Koulibaly. They are all world-class defenders and their performances depend on the system they play in and their role in that team. So it's impossible to flat out say one of them is the very best without any level of subjectivity involved. There is a lot of defenders I've not even named right now. Defensively, when it comes to recovering balls and winning duels, I wouldn't say Araujo is a level above any of these defenders, but he might be the very hardest player in the world to get past. Attacking wise though, Ronald Araujo might be the only, or one of the only at least, to really pose a threat. There is no other current defender who's really got that attacking side to his game. The only one you can really think of is Sergio Ramos, who has also played as a fullback in his career and did so brilliantly. Barcelona fans might find me weird for this, but if there's one player that Araujo is comparable to, it is probably Sergio Ramos. Aggressive, rock solid in defense, good on the ball, a threat in the air, an asset in attack as well, and so on. With that in mind, I think Ronald Araujo is definitely out there as one of the best defenders in the world, and I think you can righteously call him the very best. That was it for today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and feel free to share your own opinion in the comments down below. Thanks for the sports, Forza Barca, Forza Ronald Raujo and have a good day.